Hello everyone, welcome to Brain Blitz Audios. Today, we're going to be starting an exciting new series. We're going to be looking at things and objects that will twist your mind. We are going to be looking at visual illusions. This, ep- this series will be all about optical illusions. We're going to be showing you an optical illusion and, ha- and explain to you how it works and also some applications of these illusions, which are actually pretty useful. Prepare to be amazed. Today is all about the Bazold effect. So today's webisode, we will be discussing about the Bazold effect. Let's give you an example. Here's a test. Now you've seen this figure and it has these parallel lines with blue in them in both column A and column B. Your job is to figure out, is the blue color shown on both sides, which is A and B, different or the same? Whether they're different or same. Your time starts now. Of course, you can ignore the timer. Your time starts now. Different or same? Let's find out. Voila! They are exactly the same. Now they look different. Now they look the same. Separate them. They look different. Join them together. They look exactly the same. So what is happening? This is the classical example of a bizarre of the Bazold effect. Now let's look at this optical illusion. The Bazold effect is named after Willem von Bazold, who discovered it. He was a German professor of meteorology. Now this optical illusion, discovered by Willem von Bazold, he, the person, he discovered that a color may appear different depending on its relation to adjacent color. So this is an optical illusion where a color, when you have uh, a color in two different states, then the color may appear different. So over here, for example, the red appears different to us because of the adjacent color around it. When red is immersed in white, it looks different from the red immersed in black. And that is why this looks different, even though they're just exactly the same. So that is how the Bizold effect works. Now, why does this happen? It happens when small areas of color are interspersed. An assimilation effect called the von Bazold spreading effect, similar to spatial color mixing, is achieved. So color is getting mixed inside our head. So therefore, we see different colors, even though the colors are exactly the same. However, the opposite effect is also observed when large areas of color are placed adjacent to each other, like this one. So in this image, what we're getting is color contrast. In the earlier picture, it was color mixing. Over here, we get color contrast in this image. Now, if you look at this picture, the smaller squares inside the blue and yellow squares are all the same color, guaranteed. However, if you look at them closely, you see that some of them look like they're magenta, while the others look like they're red or orange. Now they seem different because a color is perceived differently depending on its relation to adjacent colors. So when we look at anything, we actually have a comparison going on inside our brain. So because of the different background that this smaller square gets, then it feels different, even though both of them are exactly the same. Of course, the colors themselves are not changing. It's our perception that is being skewed. And that's the prime principle behind optical illusions. They always skew your perception and give you these wonderful effects that can perplex you and also amaze you.
The Bezold effect is similar to the simultaneous contrast effect, which illustrates shifts in hue and brightness when two colors are placed alongside one another. However, there are some differences. The Bezold effect deals more with alteration of the color itself. So in that example, we saw that the blue seemed to be different even though they were the same. Now, in simultaneous contrast effect, other aspects are assimilated from surrounding colors. So the Bezold effect deals more with alteration of the color itself than with what aspects are assimilated from surrounding colors. Color contrast has been linked by researchers to brightness perception itself. So changing in color, such as the example given here, can also affect the brightness of an object. So over here, the object on the picture on the left, the orange background makes it less bright than the black background, which makes it more bright. So all of this is again happening inside our head. Whatever you're seeing, such as brightness, contrast, etc., it's not present there. It's what your brain is interpreting from the image that we get. However, in the case of the Bezold effect, the exact ocular mechanics behind it have yet to be explained. So we know that when we look at something like this, this effect is going to happen and that is and it means that color mixing is going to happen when we see ad colors in adjacent spaces so we know that part about the Bezold effect however if you're looking at scientific reasons such as what happens inside the eye when the Bezold effect takes place those are less known and they're also less studied some studies associate the phenomenon specifically with our peripheral vision while others hypothesize that spatial frequency plays a role in whether colors will assimilate or contrast one another. So there's still background research going on behind the Bezold effect. Now you might be thinking, so what? I already know that my eyes aren't perfect and I al already know that I'll be always tricked by an optical illusion. So what's the use of this Bezold effect? Well, actually the Bezold effect has many applications. And some of these may surprise you. Ever hunted for interior designs? Well, interior designers, they make use of the Bezold effect as well when they're coordinating color layouts. And if you're going to a restaurant, which is super good, then they'll make sure that the culinary industry itself will make sure that they will arrange plates and packaging so as to create the most visually appealing balance of contrast and color assimilation. The Bezold effect is also pivotal to our safety. Even aircraft design incorporates knowledge of the Bezold effect. And this is used in order to design pilot controls that are most easily recognizable for the human eye. So that is all about the Bezold effect, the effect which tricks you into seeing different colors that are not there. So we hope you found this video interesting. We know that we're dealing with optical illusions. So basically these are defects that either form in your eye or in your brain. However, it's due to these defects that we actually, you know, have a more rich sensory experience around us rather than if we had perfect eyes or a perfect brain. These imperfections actually add color to life. So, if you are looking for more of these optical illusions, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Brain Blitz Audios. We'll be uploading more episodes of the same series. Don't forget to hit that notifications button in order to stay in touch. And also, don't forget to like the video and share it to others if you have enjoyed it. So, until the next episode, take care, stay safe. Bye-bye for now.